Hey guys, it's Shane. Welcome back down to the workshop. So today's video is going to be answering one of your requests, which is how to build a LARP thrown weapon. Now this can be anything from a dagger to uh, an axe or even as funny as a, a little plate makeshift bomb or whatever. So we are going to be making throwing knives like these or like this. So uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the no and the bell button and you'll be notified whenever I go live with new stuff for you. So let's jump straight into it. Okay, so we're going to be making uh, some throwing daggers. It's a very simple way to do it. It's almost identical to how we would build anything else. Uh, the difference between throwing weapons and normal weapons is a normal weapon, this is one of my own daggers, is rigid, yeah? You can't bend it very well because it has a core inside, which most systems will not allow you to have a core in a thrown weapon. So, thrown weapons tend to be just coreless. Now, this is a molded uh, EVA foam uh, dagger, which, uh, again, can just be thrown. And these are just foam, normal foam like I use every day, yeah? And this is what we're going to be making, okay? So let's crack on. Here we have our template, which is just a scaled up version of this dagger, just making it that little bit more bigger, okay? So that's the template we're going to be working off. Now we'll transfer that to foam. Okay, so three pieces, nice and easy, and all we do is just glue them together. Okay, so we have our dagger all formed up. We can start shaping this, but first of all, we need to smooth off the edge. Okay, so go up, smooth off these with a belt sander. Yeah, don't worry, and, well, you can, you can shape these, make sure it's all nice and level, which is what I'm going to do now. Okay, so she has now been squared up enough that I can work with. I needed a smooth side, okay, so I can find my center line. Okay, so find a decent space, so that's just over four centimeters there. Or if your ruler's long enough, just go end to end. So the very tip to the very tip. And you should have 
a centre and the same with this side. Yep, now I also need the centre lines on the edges. So put your fingers against the edge, okay, and keep your pen where it is and just draw the line down the middle of the centre piece of foam. Do the same both sides. That will allow us to do the blade quite easily. We can cut between there. But obviously our hilt is slightly different because we have these beveled edges. They can only be done with a Dremel or with a belt sander, but we've got to make sure we hit these spots. So what we can do is if we want, we can cut that bit off. So the blade doesn't matter now. Now this should still fit exactly there okay now this here's the trick get your pen and go over your lines just go over them and what that will do is leave an impression only a slight one but you can follow it Now we shouldn't need that. So what we're going to do now is make the blade. So I don't want to go all the way to this line and I don't want to go all the way to that line. So a happy medium. Now also I've got this ridge coming over here. So I have to be very careful. In fact, I'm not going to do that bit yet. I'm just going to start up here. So I want to be just off each line. So there's our rough shape all cut out with the excess so the knife's done most of the work now we just touch it up with the belt sander. Okay so this has now had the majority of the sanding done we're just going to go back in with a bit of hand sanding just to tidy up any pieces. Okay.
Right, so she is roughly sanded. So what we're going to do now is heat seal it with a heat gun. Right, there you go, she's happy. Okay, that is one made throwing dagger. Now what we do now is glue coat, then latex, and then paint. So let's put the glue coat on. So the glue coat is uh, what I use, uh, the Lycler uh, Auto Finishing Speedy Thinner. I get this off eBay. And then we use the same glue, we put the it together with and we just need we don't need a lot because there's only there's only that so that should be more than enough and mix it up okay now give it a gentle coat now what this will do is allow the latex to bite to it because latex does not like to bite onto just foam. Now, we let that dry. Once it's dry, we latex it. You want the same again as a normal weapon, you want a minimum of six coats of latex until it is completely smooth. So our throwing dagger here has had six coats of latex, which will give it a nice flexible bend and keep it protected from water and sunlight. It's then had a coat of black flexi paint and then a coat of silver flexi paint, which gives it this nice iron look. Now I didn't cover the spraying in here because I've done it in previous videos, but if you guys want me to go back into that and do a proper video on latexing and such, then let me know in the comments below. So it's had six coats of latex, then it was hit with this, which is Flexi Paint Black. Now that covers any little pen marks or any little mistakes. It also shows us any mistakes that we've made. Okay, so we know where to work. Once that's done, we added a coat of the silver Flexi Paint. Again, all these were done through the airbrush. I didn't film them, so if you guys can check out other videos that I've done, which will show you the latex in and the spraying. So now I'm just going to add a Tamara Chrome Silver over the blade.
so here is the dagger all painted up we've got a little bit of blue just to break it up we have the steel effect going on now you obviously watch me do that at a speeded up pace however if you want me to show you these painting techniques in a more in-depth video put a comment below and i will get to them i promise now the only thing left to do for this is to varnish it to protect it now for that we use this which is isoflex special primer uh, very nasty stuff, but it does the job. It's the best stuff out there. Whenever you use it, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area or with a respirator mask on. So I'm just going to varnish this up, and then she's done. So I'm putting the mask on. Okay, so we've finished our LARP safe throne dagger and here she is. So this thing, uh, you can twist it, you can turn it and bend it and do whatever you like because it has no core and it will retain its shape. So it's safe to throw at people. Now, a lot of LARP safe stuff when you do throwing weapons are very light and a lot of people don't register the hit because they can't feel it, not because they're being funny. But you can put like a, a weighted like bit of leather or something in the the uh, the blade end so it weighs the blade down a bit it just allows them to feel that bit of a hit okay but uh, that is a lap safe thrown weapon in a nutshell virtually the same as a normal dagger except no core at all now you need to check with your lap system if they allow cord throwing weapons or if it's non cord and also the size because a lot of systems are particular on the actual size of a throwing weapon that's it so uh, i hope you've liked the video if you have please subscribe and hit the bell button and uh, you'll be alerted when anything i do goes live again uh, if you have any questions or anything you want me to cover in more detail please put them in the comments below and i will put a link to all the materials i use and tools i use also in the description so that's it guys thank you very much for joining me and i'll see you on the next one see ya